Hello friends, welcome back to Technique and today we'll be doing a quick comparison of the newly launched Hyper OS with the MIUI 14. Now Hyper OS was announced by Xiaomi a couple of months back in China and now we have the Hyper OS globally unveiled and Poco X6 Pro which we have been testing of late is the first device in India with Hyper OS. Now we also have the Redmi 13, Redmi Note 13 Pro plus 5G which was launched early this month. Now both of these devices are around the 30 thousand price segment but they do differ in uh, some aspects especially the software now this has android 14 out of the box and uh, hyper os this is miui 14 and android 13 so in this video we'll check what is different uh, in the hyper os compared to the miui 14 or rather this is a quick comparison of the hyper os versus miui 14 so let's begin so before that if this is your first time on this channel do hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish so first and foremost let's just lock the device so we'll just show you the lock screen so this is the new lock screen on uh, uh, the hyper os now what you can do is just press and hold this and you can see that plenty of options are there to customize so you can see here lock screen in different formats classic uh, lock screen then uh, you get the rompers uh, then uh, additional options like magazine style are there so you can literally customize uh, almost all of these options uh, now we'll just show you how what all customization options are there so we just click here you can see that wallpaper you can change uh, you can add some filters so you can add some matte effect and then uh, you can also uh, see some uh, filters can be added there is also option for depth effect for that what you need to do is just uh, select a local photo and uh, say for example i'll just select uh, uh, this picture and I can see that I can add depth effect you can see here depth effect and then you can also rearrange this wallpaper how you want uh, you can just zoom in and zoom out uh, all those things are included then uh, apart from that uh, if you uh, if you come here you can uh, just uh, edit the font as well so you can see here there are additional options for this uh, wallpaper or rather the lock screen you can edit them and you can also change the colors here uh, there are plenty of options so none of these options are available in the miui 14 so these are new options included uh, in the wallpaper so this will make uh, the customization options uh, even more easier and uh, you do get plenty of options so you can see here this is the new lock screen and uh, you can uh, customize however you want uh, there are plenty of them available in the ui so this is one major change uh, in this device now if you go to the miui uh, 14 uh, let's just take the lock screen uh, let's just see here lock screen and uh, you can see here lock screen clock format that's the only option you can just change and you can add uh, some ownership information that's the only option available but otherwise uh, it's very plain and simple but on the hyper os you get plenty of options so that's one major change uh, in the uh, ui now if you look at the home screen not much of different uh, you can see that uh, again uh, uh, the hyper os on the poco x6 pro is an indian version so it may not have the the entire bunch of features so in fact uh, hyper os for uh, flagship devices might have a different experience than the mid-range devices so we're just comparing two mid-range devices so if you look at the home screen not much of difference uh, here now let's go to the settings app uh, on both these devices uh, we'll just show you the differences there so settings uh, here you can see here uh, let's just take the about phone so here you can see that hyper os uh, ui looks different compared to the mi ui now you can see that uh, a big uh, hyper os option then uh, we have the, all the features so this is again uh, android 14 and uh, mi ui 14 this is hyper os and uh, uh, android 14 out of the box this is android 13 now if you look at the ui experience you can see the new font here we'll come back to that font in a while but it looks more pleasing than uh, uh, the older version much more cleaner looks and the font especially is very pleasing i really literally like the font now if you look at the ui options you can see here some changes minor changes are there for example sim card and mobile networks is just mobile networks now now bluetooth uh, then uh, wi-fi connection and sharing vpn is included in this but now vpn is outside then more connectivity option now lock screen always on display and lock screen are combined but here it's different the notification control now one major change is we go to the wallpaper now here we get all the options related to wallpaper like lock style 
always on display icon size iPhones and notification uh, FX so this is the icon size and uh, you can also see that the fonts this is the new font me sans is the new font while on this uh, you do get only wallpaper and everything is at different places for example if you want to change the uh, wall uh, font you can go to the themes and change but here you everything is combined to one single area always on display is uh, outside but here the always on display is combined into this uh, wallpaper option then there is themes uh, which you can download uh, uh, from the um, app store so apart from that now you can see a bottom fingerprint uh, face data some changes minor changes additional settings has been moved from here now you can see here additional settings here if you take the additional setting more or less similar you get uh, all the options like floating uh, windows memory function second space uh, screen recorder quick ball all these options are included now uh, if you see the fingerprint face and data that's password and security the chain name has been changed now battery i will just uh, show you the battery option again very similar except for that uh, you can see here the performance mode has been changed here this is how the performance mode uh, uh, enabling option looks like previously it's like a slider kind of option so these are the additional of uh, you can options here now you can see here this uh, icon has been changed now we have additional features here so these are the uh, changes in the ui but it's more like a more organized i would say the hyper os are more organized in terms of ui experience now next uh, let's uh, see the notification toggles now that's one major change actually uh, if you look at the notification toggle so this is one major change you can see that uh, now it's more pleasing and uh, you can see here this is just one page you have the edit button at the top uh, here we used to have one settings and edit but that has gone now you can see that edit option is at the bottom and uh, once you're done you can click here and uh, the icons are more easily accessible and one major change is that if i want to select a wi-fi network here if i just click here it will go to the uh, wi-fi settings but here if you click here it will be uh, kind of uh, you don't have to move, move from the screen you can uh, connect to different wi-fi networks here. similarly if i turn on the bluetooth and if i want to pair to uh, any uh, device here if i go here and enable it will directly take me to the bluetooth settings but here you can see all the bluetooth option that makes it is easier to access similarly you have this uh, uh, playback here then icons are more refined actually although there are a lot of resemblance to the ios but uh, it's more refined now uh, at least the notification toggles so that's one uh, another change now if you go to the app drawer now you can see here uh, if you go to settings of the app drawer again you can see here some changes group icons by color and animation in color category so you can see here now if i see here i can just uh, uh, see the apps are arranged according to the colors so this is one new change but this is not available here uh, so that's one change here in terms of uh, ui experience the app drawer has changed so now let's uh, see the floating window so if i just press and hold this icon i can see a split screen option this is not available here so what i need to do is just uh, open uh, here and i'll just uh, take it from here so split screen so i've enabled uh, here now let's uh, take settings in the second option and here let's uh, see what i can take uh, i'll just uh, take settings here also so now you can see here i have uh, enabled a uh, floating window now if you see here there is additional options i can just uh, 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 change the uh, location now here i don't have that op option and then i can just go to uh, and make it as a floating window i can go back and bring it back uh, to the option so these options are not available here you can just uh, change the size but you can't uh, make uh, additional options like this so floating window has changed you can see these three options uh, rather you can just flip uh, uh, the toggles and then you can make it to floating window that option is not available here so that's one another change uh, with respect to the floating windows then another option is the smart cutout functionality so if i just take uh, a photo and i just press and hold uh, so i can just uh, copy uh, and uh, save it as another file you can paste it to another uh, app as well so smart cutout is not available directly from here uh, you have to go to the ai options uh, to cut it out but then uh, here you get uh, you directly yeah, in the ui options another change is while charging if i just plug on a charger you can see this new option here uh, something like uh, a new island kind of a dynamic island kind of feature coming up uh, when you enable charging but that is not available on the miui 14 so these are some changes uh, in the ui if you look at the camera features both are quite similar uh, nothing much change here then apart from that uh, multitasking is also uh, quite similar you can see here nothing much change so these are some of the changes in uh, uh, the uh, hyper os when compared to the miui 14 but again uh, this differs from device to device again uh, uh, 
uh, flagship devices will have some other features uh, mid-range devices will uh, be missing out some other features so this is a quick comparison of two mid-range devices with the uh, hyper os on the poco x6 pro and uh, uh, the miui 14 on the redmi note 13 pro plus 5g so that was uh, the differences on these two devices hope you enjoyed watching this video do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day